happy new year guys let's start this year with a bang and choose to see and heal through our fears through a very new and a different perspective so living in the world we've been taught how to fear and how to control and how to force ourselves but when we come into our awakening our awakening brings us a new invitation to start living our life from a place of peace love harmony and joy because this is a complete paradigm shift this is a shift in your mindset and shift in your ideas and beliefs we need to start uprooting the places where we are still holding fear and these are the places that are stifling you where you are struggling where exactly that that is exact place where you are stopping your abundance to come through where you are stopping yourself from receiving your good so my friends um the first step into looking into your fears is choosing to heal your fears first is making a choice i choose to see all of my fears and uproot all of them and know that fear is not real it's just a made up mind it's a made up concept it's not something that god has given you it is just an override i would say it's an override from the physical sense so i had learned this uh, through a somatic healer she had mentioned this very clearly that fear is a very physical vibration just like shame shame and fear are not actually coming from the spiritual body or your soul or they are not even coming from your emotions they are literally physical sensations so if you are facing these feelings these feelings understand that they originate from the physical world and not actually they're not never coming from the soul we only program our mind into believing that there's something within us that's causing the fear so this would be really helpful for you to go ahead and actually look at your fears and overcome them what do people mean people always say overcome your fears overcome your fears but nobody tells you the formula nobody tells you actually how to do it So my dear friends this is also a plug in to actually invite you to my upcoming workshop it's going to be a two day workshop this is going to be in the span of two weeks one uh on sunday the it's on 28th of january and the next sunday on the 4th of february so i invite you to join this workshop i have put what is going to be discussed on these two days i have actually listed these fears based on the statistics these are most common fears that people have what i noticed is people are so under confidence the confidence level is so low and it is not just about building a fake confidence and if you actually go online you will find a lot of motivational speakers or even like gurus telling you how to build confidence but they actually don't hold the key they don't tell you they don't tell you how to look at your fears and how to let go of them what is the biggest fear you have so these are some spiritual secrets that my gurus have shared and also i have learned across my journey and overcoming my own fears and flaws so i invite you to join this workshop do sign up now so that you have booked your seat as the seats are limited all right back to our topic so what do we find online and the information on how to overcome our fears is again based on control so it's like they are confirming that your fear is valid so that's how black magic works as well so people are like oh you have been uh, possessed or something negative is happening to you you need to do this to overcome this so it is to validate what's happening with you is real so you need to eat something or you know i don't know what they tell you what kind of remedies they tell you they tell you a remedy so that you are actually confirming to yourself what have happened to me was real although i'm not discrediting the the sensations and the discomfort the sensation of fear causes it is very intense and it can sometimes be very very uncomfortable i completely understand 
that but it has a very physical purpose to it it is coming from the physical world or you can say animalistic world it has a purpose even within the animal kingdom but even animals know how to shed it or let it go as a vibration and come back to a relaxation mode like look at my cat okay it's relaxing okay so <laughs> but he also like experiences fear the sensation of fear and then he would vibrate and resonate in that and then within seconds he is back to his relaxed mode but not us what do we do is we internalize that external vibration we take it within and then try to wire it with an idea so that's what happens when somebody is physically abusing you they actually give you the vibration of fear along with an idea like don't do this i'm going to slap you so you know, yeah i mean like i'm not discrediting the amount of um trauma it causes it does cause trauma but it also means that you can overcome it you can override it by actually changing your problem statement you need to go back to your mind into your root where you have actually made these two references as one so that is the part of going within and doing your inner work this is something i will be sharing in my workshop as well so so that you are able to free your vibrations and receive joy in the place where you were experiencing fear or control fear is nothing but making you numb in that place you are not actually receiving any signals or emotions because emotions are also a way the divine is communicating with us the divine is communicating with us through all ways possible through our body through our physical body through our mind through our emotions through our heart and through our emotions it is the most refined way there is not most refined it is a refined way there is a higher and a deeper way as well but we are still refining and getting to know how the divine communicates with us so in that place where you are facing fear when the ideas of idea of abandonment idea of loneliness idea of uh, being left you know uh, alone by society being uh, discarded by society by shamed by society things like that where you hold the biggest fear that those are the places they these ideas within you are the places where you feel numb so fear nothing what it does is actually called cause numbness when you have healed that numbness when you let go of that fear then you actually feel one with the with the world the world is a, is like your bigger house your the world is a loving place it's not a place of fear but once you have healed that in your consciousness you will not f- even feel it even little bit so you're not meant to feel it at all so this is why um, it's important to overcome your fears so that you can actually receive the correct signals even if you are facing some blocks and barriers to your abundance to claiming your union within your life purpose which may have been to be popular famous or you're meant to be on a bigger platform where you need to interact with a lot of people but that becomes your biggest fear so that's what people say when you are facing your biggest fears behind that is what your treasure lies <coughs> so you will see that uh, even before hitting your harmonious union you are invited into your biggest fear but the problem is that people are not ready to face their fears because they don't know how to handle it because you don't know how to handle it they just remain in the cycle of fear so this is what i'm going to teach in the workshop is how to face your fear and the second step is how to overcome it so that you're not leaking your energy to fear the fear is the biggest energy leak <coughs> it is literally um, i had read this somewhere this was a really great quote yeah it is literally giving credit to the devil so when you are afraid you are literally giving your energy you're leaking your energy to the devil although there's no devil that exists but uh, that imaginary figure <laughs> where the sinking hole of <laughs> uh suffering and sadness exists that's where you are putting all your energy or leaking your energy whereas once you had uh, 
you know block that energy leak and and claim to your love and divine oneness in that area you would be using that energy and your efforts and your attention into building a beautiful foundation building your heaven on earth and loving yourself all right my friends i hope this video has helped you and i will be looking forward to connecting with you in the workshop don't forget to sign up for the workshop so that your seats are uh reserved and i will see you in the next videos and do remember to subscribe the year ahead is an amazing year it's a year of prosperity claim your love claim your heaven on earth claim your prosperity all right my friends take care ciao